So if we respect that individuality, one size fits all learning or training solutions will not work. So what we did, we asked then in the next step, is learning important for people? And this is where we all suffer at the moment that many people, and ask yourself again, I will ask you three questions. Be honest with yourself. Number one, is learning important? Yeah, typically I do this since two and a half years now, I get a 90% agreement on yes, learning is important for me. Now, second question, do you have learning in your calendar? Do you block time for learning? And typically now I get only 10% agreement. Now, third question, if you would put that learning time in your calendar and now your boss calls you, a customer calls you, or a colleague just goes by if it's possible with COVID, does he or she get the time from you, your blocker? And if you said yes now three times, of course, then we have to rethink, hey, learning is important, but it's not in my calendar. And we all know what's not in the calendar doesn't happen. And if it's in the calendar, everything else is more important. We defend meeting time, but we don't defend learning time. So really think about that learning culture. We have great training providers out there. Um, the TTS company, we work together, they have awesome offers. But if you don't realize a real good learning culture, where people that have time or make time even better for learning because it is a priority for their own future, then all those different um, um, uh, offers you make them might not uh, fulfill their full potential. 